Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Now, there are a handful of photographers operating in the YouTube space who I consider to be some of the best photographers working today, full stop, and I respect them massively. So when one of those photographers calls you out, you'd be wise to listen. And that is exactly what's happened. I've been called out by another photographer working on the YouTube space, photographer who I massively respect and who I think is one of the most consistent and best photographers out there today. So this video can be considered as my response. Right, so before we get on to the topic of today's video, <laughs> I just wanted to quickly shoot this scene. It's a very dynamic scene. You can probably just see now there's a bit of light hitting this tree just here. Uh, that light is very fleeting. We have 95% cloud cover, so if we're lucky, we'll get a 10, 15 second break where we might get a bit of light on this scene, which brings it to life. And without the light on this scene here, it's dead, it's nothing. So the whole thing right now feels very rushed. So the scene that I'm shooting is, is really simple and it was nothing without the light because I was walking past it whilst the light was hitting it like it is now and it just it was striking the contrast was striking and then as soon as the light disappeared the image was gone it would you know just you just walk right past it and not see a photograph so light is so important but I'm just essentially framing one tree with another tree this near tree here that's got the light on it now that tree is framing that tree in the background and it's also frantic you know the light comes and goes you might get uh, maybe three seconds of perfect light with a two second timer that doesn't give you a very big window to grab the shot um, and I can't spend all night here I've got to move on and try and get a couple more images for today's video this near tree which is beautifully framing the far tree that's this horrible dead branch hanging off it and that dead branch is cutting right through the tree in the background it's ugly it's a distraction I wish it wasn't there three options option one walk up there now knock it off it's dead won't make any difference <laughs> obviously we're not going to do that uh, it's ne never ever condone that kind of behavior uh, the second option is to get rid of it in photoshop afterwards which is probably what i'll do if i'm honest if photoshop is up to the challenge and the third option is just to leave it which i also might do um it depends we'll see so there we go first image not bad totally spontaneous bit of a mad rush <sighs> but at least I've got one in the back. So that image was definitely uh, <laughs> what I like to call reactive. Oh, sorry reactive photography uh, where really you have no idea what you're going to shoot you have nothing in your mind and then something happens light or you see a subject just getting through this gate oh. Oh, hang on. Get this one. don't know if you can see can you see that let oh, me tripod leg I don't know how this has happened Tripod uh, sorted, totally lost my trail of thought with that one. Um, but yes, so, uh, being called out. Now, I was watching a video by a very talented photographer. I mean, somebody who knocks it out of the park on a regular basis. Every video, every image, fantastic. And that is the very talented Mr. Simon Booth. Now, I know Simon, we exchange emails every now and again, and we've even had breakfast together in the Peak District. Great photographer, great guy, and he made a video called learn to love summer photography and he basically called out people like me not by name but uh, <laughs> it's pretty obvious it was about me because he called out people that whinge about summertime and photography 
uh, you know, the, the early starts, the late finishes, the overgrown green environment. And that is what I do. That's my forte. Every summer I have a good whinge and moan about it. And he made some very valid points about how you shouldn't do that. You know, every nature is beautiful no matter what, and you should always be out enjoying photography. And he's absolutely right, 100% right. And I am guilty of that negative mindset. And it always happens. I'm generally a pessimistic, negative person. Uh, certainly not an optimist by any stretch of the imagination. But Simon's video really struck a chord with me because he's just had a hernia operation. I hope you're doing well, Simon. And so for a period of time, he's not been able to get out. And now that he's got the all clear, he, he can't wait to get out. And he mentions in his video that photography is all about state of mind. And it is. Have you ever got a new camera and you, you die in to get out and use it and you're taking images left, right and centre because you've got this new piece of gear and after a while that fades. But it, it is, it's about mindset and I never really realised that, I suppose. I think I just go to default whinge, <laughs> which is, is what I tend to do. So go and watch Simon's video, I'll link to it in the description below, subscribe to his channel. The two images in his last video, that summer video, phenomenal. The second one in that video, outstanding outstanding 10 out of 10 image fantastic i wish i could capture images that good so go and watch and subscribe because he's a fantastic teacher and photographer now for me i took what he said as a bit of a kick up the backside and thought right i do need to stop whinging be a bit more positive and get out and take advantage of the nice weather and and try and use everything to my you know to my advantage um but it's not easy it's really not it's still a challenge and i'll let you into a secret about today's video at the end. <laughs> but for now, I'm gonna walk around and see if I can get at least one more image. My, my goal today is two images for this video. And I'm in an environment that I wouldn't normally shoot at this time of year. In fact, I've never been here at this time of year because I always just dismiss it. Write it off, I'm not going there, it's summertime, what's the point? Well, that's the wrong attitude, hopefully. I can kind of prove that in today's video. <laughs> we'll see, maybe I'm not the right man for the job, but uh, Simon is, go and watch his video. Right. So it probably doesn't come across on camera, but it is getting dark fast. We are in a deep gorge right now, surrounded by hills on either side, but there is a bit of ambient light coming down from the sky above, and that ambient light is catching on the leaves, backlighting them. Now, in Simon's video, when he talks about what to look out for in summer and how it's a bountiful, could be a bountiful time of year for images, he does mention looking up at beech leaves. Now, this is something that I do quite a lot in autumn, I always do it in autumn. Never think to do it in summer, I'll be honest with you. But I've just done it. Had a look up at the trees. <laughs> and blooming fantastic. These backlit trees with this beautifully sort of dark branch that looks very much like, I don't know, it reminds me uh, a bit of a bonsai tree. Uh, but the reason the image works is because the leaves are backlit by the sky, um, because we're in a gorge beyond the leaves, behind the leaves, the backdrop is just dark woodland. So you get that kind of glow, that contrast, and it works really well. And you know, I came down to this river, not really sure what I was gonna find. And I just, just, I don't know, I, I didn't see an image. I, but I, what I did do, <laughs> what I did do, was just take a moment, man. Just take a moment, take it all in. You know, sounds a bit, uh, sounds a bit new age hippie, but, uh, really start to appreciate the sounds, the sights, the smells, everything. Absorb everything. And you might then start to see images. Sounds daft, but kind of works. Worked for me. Got this image, which I'm going to shoot right now before it gets too dark and we lose it. A lot of photography is about what you leave out. And there are different ways of leaving things out. You can move, walk from A to B and try and frame your subject with you know, eliminating distractions. You can use your aperture to blur things out in the background that are distractions, or you can crop. Um, and I love, 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 massive advocate of the square crop. I love my Hasselblad 501CM, which is a square film camera. 
and quite often I find myself cropping down to a square and in fact that's one of the main reasons I actually bought this camera this GFX 50R because it's it's a 4x3 aspect ratio sensor rather than a 3x2 which is what you get in normal um, full frame cameras these days so when you crop to a square you'll lose less pixels anyway that's uh, neither here nor there the point is creatively artistically it works for me so well when isolating subjects simplifying scenes and essentially creating images that are free of distractions what we're doing here. F8, focusing on the backlit leaves. It's simple, it's straightforward. Uh, it's the last image of the day, but it's quite a pleasing one. So yeah, pretty happy with this one. So, what can the takeaway be from this video? I don't think the takeaway is that summer is great for photography. Um, I don't think that's the takeaway. I know I said I wasn't going to be negative. Um, because at the beginning of this video, I said that I was going to tell you, into a, tell you a secret, let you into a secret. Well, this is my third woodland in as many days. I've tried to make this video three times now and have failed. Failed to get any images. It wasn't until today last day the last location where i started to see images now is that me was it the lights was it the conditions was it the subject the woodland honestly i don't know probably a bit of everything but the fact remains summer is challenging but it is about how you approach your photography and your mindset and your expectations just like simon says if you want to get out and you want to take photographs You'll manage it, you'll find stuff, you'll see stuff to shoot. Although I have to say, I have to say this, it's a bloody lovely evening and it's so nice just to escape the madness and the chaos that is just life at the minute all over the world for everyone. So coming out in a woodland like this any time of year is bliss. So that's definitely a takeaway. Um, so yeah, there you go. The, the summer isn't that easy, but it's also not as difficult as you think. There we go, that's it. That's a summary. That's what I should have said. <laughs> so there you go. Thanks guys so much for watching. Uh, go and subscribe to Simon's channel. Link in the description below. My book is available. My calendar very soon. By next week's video, I expect it to be on sale. So excuse me if I give it a bit of a plug in that video. We'll see. Um, big thank you to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If you don't know who Squarespace are, they're an all-in-one website building platform where you log on and you build a very nice looking website using a drag and drop system. So if you're a photographer and you want a nice photography website with a portfolio, gallery, your own domain, a contact page, a blog post, all that, all the kind of good stuff that looks great in a website, but you don't know how to build it, you don't know how to code, well, sign up to Squarespace. It's intuitive, it's easy, you do it all yourself. I've got 24 seven customer support. And you know, I've built a couple of websites myself using it and it's the way to go. Um, if you don't wanna hire you know, a web design company to do it all and control it all for you, basically you get the control, which is quite nice. So if you wanna give that a go, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and you can get a free trial. If you like the free trial, and use the offer code HEATON for 10% off your first purchase, so you'll save a bit that way. There we go. Summer. It's coming to an end. <laughs> but I'm not going to wish it away. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. <sighs> Bye for now.